Hello, welcome back. I am Ram Krishna. In this session, we will see how to create SQL Docker image and run in our local system connect through SSMS or SQL Server Management Studio. So, to do this, I am using Visual Studio Code with the Docker extension. You can search this extension, type Docker. So I am already installed this extension. If you want, you can install to your system. So I am using this instance. So you can see the running containers over here. The images already created in my system in the registries Docker Hub, which is uh, connected to my login. Please make sure that uh, Docker Desktop is running by going through Task Manager, and you can verify that Docker Desktop is running. Mine is uh, also already up and running. Let us start uh, in the terminal. We can start typing the command to run our uh, SQL uh, Docker image. First, we need uh, our Docker image. Where do we find this Docker image? You just open the browser and uh, just do a Google search where you can uh, directly point it out to the Docker uh, main site SQL Server and if you will go to this url app.docker.com you can find the official image from the microsoft which is running on the linux docker engine in this page you can find the feature tags and how to use these commands and how to use the eula and how to set a password for this etc you now you just run it in your local system start run the command docker run e for environment and we have eula accept eula again environment flag give a proper password here i would like to point out i think that uh, password enforce restriction policy is by default enabled so you need to give the password which have uppercase lowercase and special character otherwise uh, it will throw error while well after building the image or the image itself won't build so our next environment tag will give version type of uh, ms sql we are going to use so uh, i am using sql pid as express and now specify the port in which our uh, image should run the internal port i will give 1433 and external port as 1433 now i will give the image path that i will get from hub.docker.com sql server you can see that we have image path here mcr.microsoft.com msc sql server 2017 ubuntu taking this uh, 2017 uh, CU8 Ubuntu and copy this and paste it over here. If you see on the first time we are running it will download uh, this image from the docker hub. So just run our command. So it says that unable to find the image and it started to download. See we have an error here. Image operating system Linux cannot be used on this platform to fix this let's go to the our docker setting and switch to container linux container in our docker setting just click on switch so wait for a moment once it is switched to linux container run the command again So it again throw error, it cannot find the file specified daemon configuration in windows is problem. Basically it shows that uh, windows virtualization is not enabled. Let me verify that through my task manager. So let me go to my task manager and go to performance section. As you see virtualization is disabled. So to fix this I need to uh, restart my system and go to boot setting and need to enable virtualization so let me do that and come back to you guys 
now i restarted my system and in bio setting in my processor i enabled virtualization you can see that virtualization is enabled in the task manager also so now let us run our command so our docker command is ready just run you can see that unable to find the image now it should download from uh, docker hub official image from microsoft now it is downloading So source docker image from docker up successfully downloaded you can see that in the left side the images uh, images section we have a new sql server downloaded and this container is up and running let us verify our downloaded docker image is running we have our image running local successfully just copy the container id of this image and we'll cross check that our image uh, initiated successfully by using this command give the container id here now give the path to uh, ms sql tools so give the server name that is localhost because we are running in uh, our local system so it is local so let us give username by default it is sa let us give password password we given uh, while creating uh, our docker image so let us run this command so it successfully entered into come on uh, sql prompt mode so give an example sql query give go we have invalid object name here it is query should be select name from system databases so run again or sql query run, run successfully so uh, now try to run this same thing in our sql server management studio switch to sql server go to connect click on database engine so our server name is localhost port id is you can specify port id by comma one four three three and select authentication essay essay give the password click connect we have login failed error so let us address why this uh, error is happening let me connect it to my windows mode in right click the sql express go to properties and go to security if you see sql server and windows authentication and mode is enabled now we have another instance of the same in my system so let me connect to this and go and cross check that go to security and here we it is only enabled for windows authentication mode so just change it to sql server and windows authentication mode click ok to implement new changes we need to restart sql server management studio let me do that now try to connect our local sql server docker image server name is localhost give port id s1433 let's equal server username ssa 
and give the password and try to connect so we are still getting this error let us find out what causing it let me switch to sql server configuration manager as you can see we have sql server services here my previous instance which is inst installed in ssms 2012 have uh, issues with uh, running their services and after that i configured client protocols and then enabled shared memory to en enable tcp ip to enable name pipes to enable and i did this all settings once i created new instance of sql server 2019 so let me try to connect our docker image through this new ssms 2019 we installed just now so give server name as a localhost authentication mode as sql login as sa copy paste the password we can remember this password try to connect as it successfully able to connect just run a new query so let me create a new database from sql command prompt what we have in the docker try to create a new database here create database db demo data base let us run this sql query with the go keyword and switch back to ssms and verify that our new database is created yes we have our new database here so you can verify that by after refreshing in the ssms you can see the new database we created through command prompt to summarize the things we learned from this session we learned how to cre create sql server docker image and how to connect it to our ssms in and also we learned the fifth step to how to troubleshoot the things if it is not worked as expected so that's it guys if you like my tutorial please hit a like and subscribe to my channel thank you